During intense flames and extreme heat, dozens of firefighters worked to put out a warehouse fire that caused major disruptions for train travelers. Hi everybody, glad you're with us tonight. I'm Darren Kramer. I'm Ann Ivory. The major fire in Bridgeport could be seen from miles around it tonight. Firefighters are still working to put it out. That fire happening at a building that's right next to the Metro North train tracks and it brought trains to a halt. News 8's Jamie Miro live in Bridgeport tonight with the latest on this breaking story. Jamie? Well, Darren and Ann, this is being described, as you mentioned, as a major fire, and justifiably so as we step out of the picture here and zoom in. You can see from our vantage point here that this ladder truck still pouring water onto this fire. We did see some flames shoot up just about five minutes ago. Those have disappeared just as we were going on air. Let's show you some video shot by our crews earlier this evening. Now, from what we're being told, this all started maybe sometime after 6 o'clock. Now, we've learned that the building... Of course, it's an old factory. Uh, one person actually who used to have a business in here tells me that it used to house a toy factory, later a cigarette lighter factory. Uh, we're told also now, though, that the facility, and this is again according to one man here, is now vacant. But this is an intense situation and clearly one that is not anywhere near over yet. You know, it was a huge, beautiful place, but now, uh, unfortunately, I don't know what was in there. You know, I, I think it might have been em empty, hopefully, but I know the building is very old. Now, we started our evening in Hartford, and actually, as we came into the Bridgeport area, coming down the Merritt and connecting to I-95, you could see the smoke billowing from this facility. One more note here. To my right, you really can't see it because it's dark to where we are, but is the Amtrak Metro North track. Service, we're being told, has been delayed because the smoke is pushing that way. Now, we're going to have more updates for you, of course, as always, on WTNH.com, or you can keep it right here to News 8. For now, though, we're live in Bridgeport. I'm Jamie Miro, News 8.